winner of the Skill and Arms Trophy for Weapons Proficiency in 5 Platoon is Private Tony Firth, Royal Australian Infantry Corps. The winner of the Physical Proficiency Trophy for the best at physical training and the Baird VCMG Trophy for the most outstanding soldier in five platoon is Private Cameron Impey, Royal Australian Infantry Corps. The winner of the Physical Proficiency Trophy for the best of physical training in 6th Platoon is Sapper Leon Murphy, Royal Australian Engineers. The winner of the Skill at Arms Trophy for Weapons Proficiency in 6th Platoon is Trooper Madison Vergelis, Australian Army Aviation Corps.
The Baird VCMG trophy for the most outstanding soldier in six platoon is Private Zachary Upton Reeves, Royal Australian Infantry Corps. Soldiers of five and six of home. Firstly, congratulations on an excellent turnout this morning. The hours of drill practice and uniform inspections have definitely paid off. Well done. Today is a significant occasion. It signifies the end of your recruit training and the final step in your transition from civilian to recruit to soldier. Today you have earned a title that many have aspired to but failed to achieve. A title no one can ever take from you. You are now an Australian soldier. You are now part of Australia's great national institution, its army. You have earned the right to wear the rising sun badge and take your place in the ranks today. You are part of a proud tradition of service, courage, respect, integrity and excellence. A tradition that expects commitment personal sacrifice and putting the team before yourself. All qualities you have demonstrated to earn your place on the program for you today. Be proud of your commitment and achievements in reaching this point in your journey. You'll remain ready for the challenges ahead. COVID-19, regional instability and the enduring threat of extremism continue to provide challenges to our nation. As the newest soldiers in the army, you may soon be called upon to play your part in whatever form that may take. You will shortly be departing the home of soldier for your initial employment training. A milestone you may not have thought possible when you first arrived here at Africa. Take the time now to pause and reflect on your achievements, but be ready to focus and strive for excellence when you arrive in your full schools. Your initial employment training will offer greater challenges. Some elements will be more physically demanding, others more mentally and cognitively taxing. For this reason, you will need to continue to apply everything you have learned here at the Kuka to ensure your ongoing success. Having seen your training and the standards you have achieved so far, I am confident you will rise to the challenges ahead and do our army and our nation proud. A parade such as this is not possible without the music provided by the Australian Army Band for Their performance, once again, 
has been outstanding. And I thank the band for their work once again. To your instructors and the staff of the first recruit training battalion, thank you for going above and beyond your duty. The soldiers on parade here today are a direct result of your commitment, hard work, and many hours spent away from family and friends. You should be incredibly proud of your achievement. In closing, to the newest soldiers of the Australian Army, always remember our contract with Australia, our contract that is now yours. You are an Australian soldier who is an expert in close combat. You are physically and mentally tough, compassionate and courageous. You lead by example. You strive to take the initiative. You are committed to learning and working for the team. You believe in trust, loyalty and respect for your country, your mates and the army. The rising sun is your badge of honour. You are an Australian soldier. Welcome to the profession of arms. Good luck and good soldiering. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Gentlemen are requested to remove hats and service personnel in uniform are to salute. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remain standing as the Governor-General's banner is marched off the parade. Gentlemen are requested to remove hats and service personnel in uniform should only salute when the parade commander gives the order to present arms and the band plays the musical salute, Point of War. Let's 